Hello, I'm Dr. Mohua Bhattacharji from Amity School of Economics. Uh, today we'll be taking the Stackelberg model as we have extended it from uh, we have done Kurno model and then after Kurno model we have uh, understood the reaction curve which is slightly modification. Now we will be seeing how Stackelberg have used the reaction curve to explain the profit maximizing situation and also with the sophisticated behavior. So this is a Steckelberg behavior model it says that one dualist is dualist is sufficiently sophisticated to recognize that his competitor acts on Kurno assumption. That means one of the firm will be understanding that there is another firm who believes in the naive behavior or who works out in a Kurno assumption. This recognition allows the sophisticated firm to determine the reaction curve of the rival and incorporate it in his own profit function, which is maximized like a monopolist. This is very turn. This is a turning point of its model. Stackelberg takes considers one to be sophisticated, another to be follower. The follower is the one who has got a reaction curve based on Kurno model. So Stackelberg believes that the sophisticated firm will be taking the reaction curve of the follower firms and will impose its own profit curves on it to determine its optimum level of output. So if, if we have got two firms, firm 1 and firm 2 and we assume that firm 1 is sophisticated, suppose firm 1 is sophisticated, let us assume, then what will happen? Firm 1 will settle down its stable equilibrium output. It will produce, it will establish stable equilibrium output based on the reaction curve. Reaction curve of whom? Of firm 2. That is very important. Stackelberg is taking the reaction curve of his rival. Okay? And then it is establishing its own isoprofit curve on the rival's curve. And so that at the tendency point of this reaction curve and rival's reaction curve and its own isoprofit curve will give the equilibrium output. So if you see, for assumption, suppose this is A's reaction, this is the reaction curve. Reaction curve of whom? It is suppose the reaction curve of B. It is the B's reaction curve. And now A will determine its optimal output based upon the B's reaction curve. That is, he is taking the rival's consideration and the profit, isoprofit curve is suppose the tangenting at this point. So this is his stable equilibrium point determining a equilibrium output of output of firm A. So this is something like this. So this isoprofit curve is of A but the reaction curve is of B. So firm A is the sophisticated firm who has taken the reaction curve of firm B and imposed its own profit curve on the reaction curve of B to determine the stable equilibrium point because he knows that his counterpart, its rivals will try to do the best and taking the best situation, he has found he taking the rivals best situation, he has taken out his best. So this is why it's called the sophisticated situation. Now just the opposite case, if firm A, if firm B becomes the firm 2 becomes the sophisticated, then he will take the firm's A's reaction curve and then his and A's reaction curve and B's isoprofit curve will determine, suppose, this OQB is the sophisticated form's share and this is the follower's form's share. So this is something which is very important in the Steckelberg's model. He allows the sophisticated forms to determine the reaction curve of the rival and incorporate it in his own profit function. That is very important. So this is something... If A is sophisticated, it will choose a point with this lowest possible isoprofit of A as it will assume the rival will act on its own reaction. So, this is sophistication is rewarding for A as it reaches an isoprofit curve closer to its axis. So, this is the Kurno uh, and these are the two solutions which we get and this is obviously the Kurno solution and this is Steckelberg's solution when form B is sophisticated and this is Steckelberg solution when form A is sophisticated. So this is something which is to be understood. If both firms are sophisticated, then now the question comes, everybody will like to become sophisticated and become a leader. Then what will happen? There will be a price war in this case. In this case, the market situation becomes unstable and uh, <clears throat> the effect will be price war until one of them surrenders and 
a collusion is reached with both firms abandoning their naive reaction function and recognize their interdependence. So this is the point that uh, till each of the till the each of the firms are not accepting one another's interdependency, they will be going on doing price war. And if to go again again away from the price war, one of them might think of to be sophisticated and other to be a follower. Now the stage when the follower wants also to be a leader, then the question will be coming of disequilibrium. And in this disequilibrium, no stable solution can come out without collusion. So it is very essential that there be tacit, there would be agreements or there be collusions in a secret way so that there will be a good solution. Uh, and by recognize this might happen, the effect will be price war until one firm surrenders and agrees to act as follower or collusion is reached when both firms abandon their naive behavior function and recognize their interdependence. So this much uh, is for the Steckelberg's model and uh, thank you.